Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of My Home My Hobby. We're here down at the Shunting Layout just because I just fancy having a play around with it. I just fancy enjoying it for all that it is. And I've just realised that the uh, Russian doesn't have a front coupler. Long story. So, we'll just do the old switcheroo on that. That should be alright then. Shouldn't it? <laughs> Bad start to the video already. Word of advice, guys, if you are going to do a YouTube channel based around your trains, then uh, make sure that everything's exactly how you want it before you do anything. So... Let me see if I can get a nice crawl going. Oh, that was pretty good. Anyway, so um, I went to Mark's Models today, guys, uh, because I wanted to have a look at um, N-Gage starter sets, you know? I wanted to see if N-Gage was right for me, because I had an idea of a layout that I'd like to make. And... Well, I looked at the price of just a, an own, oh, six, a Class 08 diesel shunter that's pretty much about the size of the Ruston, 90 quid. Now, I know that the reason why they're so expensive is because of the how small the motor is and the wires and just how small all the components are to fit in that small space. So, obviously, it takes more precision engineering if you will uh, and plus the starter sets there none of them looked good they were all pretty much American type ones you know the ones that you'd find in America whereas I wanted something a bit more British So I'm not going to bother with N-Gage anymore, um, or at all, rather, um, because double O is what I know, and I think it's a nice middle ground, because, well, it just, it's a good size, you know? I mean, as cool as N-Gage would have been for, like, a, an underneath-the-bed layout. You know, one that you... A layout that you keep under your bed and... A layout that you keep under your bed and bring out... I had this whole idea. I knew exactly how I was going to do it. But not that it really matters. So I've saved myself a lot of money that can go towards uh, these these layouts and this kind of I don't know. Double O just seems like a good scale. I mean, these trucks are a good scale, but N gauge it would be right down here the top of the truck will be right down there it's a, the engines will be even smaller than the rust and the rust would look massive by comparison and plus people again it's engaged which is like one in 142 47 um something like that whereas double o is 172 which is a nice scale so if you scale that up 72 times it's real And this is what I know. So, for the reasons of cost and the fact that there wasn't anything there that was worth it, I'm just sticking with double O gauge. 
I mean, as nice of a challenge as Engage would have been. As nice of a challenge as it would have been, it would have been very, very fiddly. And it would have been something different to get used to. Whereas this, I'm pretty used to it. So I'm just going to stick with... Just going to stick with what I know. And I know you're probably wondering about the uh, the layouts already, um, like what's happening with them and everything. Uh, this one I'm pretty much calling finished. Um, I'm not going to bother with the tunnel section because it's just it just gets in the way. I mean, as nice of an idea as it was, you know, to have a tunnel there. So then you just have the engine coming out of the tunnel. Um, you know, it just gets in the way all the time. I mean, it got in the way when I was doing the Ingram Nook Shunting Challenge. I couldn't quite reach the points because, well, look. My hand's already where the tunnel would be. So I've gotten rid of it. I'm going to add coal to that, to this. Um, I'll probably add a few more bits and pieces, but this is done. Uh in in essence as for the bigger layout I am still working on it uh, I've done a bit of titivating with it today as my mum would say I've done a bit of titivating with it today and I think it looks, it's getting, getting there, is what I'm saying. Come on. Okay. I know I said this was done, but it's still got its teething problems. I have written a list of uh, things that need to be done um, before the uh, before the big layout can be uh, shown. Uh, I'd like to try and get it done in time for Christmas because obviously we're getting we're going to get new engines and rolling stock and stuff for Christmas. <laughs> exactly what I said last year: Christmas is the best time to get new stock. You know what I mean? I got the Rustin for Christmas. And I, you know, all the countless little bits and pieces. You know, the Horn, Hornby Hobby Christmas special and everything. I think maybe this track just needs the biggest clean of its life. And these points are a bit dodgy. But after that, I can call it done. Going back. One couple. Oh. Somewhere there. But yeah, anyway, so I'm not going to bother with Engage anymore. I'm just going to stick with Double O. I'm just going to stick with what I know. I did have a look at the prices for the sets that were there. They were about 100, 200 quid. Whereas the one that started this off was only 80 odd quid. So I'm, I'm going to stick with double O. I'm going to stick with what I know. And maybe one day when I get a house the size of <laughs> Luxembourg or something, 
then I can do more layouts. But in the meantime, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed um, watching the rust and do the rounds and listening to me waffling on. I can't imagine why you would. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Always appreciated. Until next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.